Begin kneeling, sitting on your heels. If this is uncomfortable, feel free to place a block or a blanket underneath your hips for support. With straight blade-like arms, begin to make big circles forward, up, and around. Continue this direction three times and then reverse, allowing your eyes to follow your hands and opening your chest when necessary. Interlace your hands behind you. Begin to extend through the elbows, reaching the knuckles for the floor and opening across the front of your chest. Allow your head to collapse, looking backwards. Keep pressing the heart up and forward. Hold for three to five breaths. Maintaining the chest stretch, begin to take your knuckles from side to side, creating a slight twist. As you twist, begin to fold your chest towards your thighs. Continue to reach the knuckles for the ceiling. Without pausing, continue the twisting action and return to your starting position. When you stack your shoulders over your hips, release the hands. Place your fingertips on your shoulders and begin to circle the elbows up and back. Make three rotations moving backwards and then three in the opposite direction. Then release your hands. Come into a side kneeling position. By planting one hand in line with your knees and extending the opposite leg, planting that foot also in line with your hand and knee. Make sure your hips stack directly over your supporting knee and be sure that your shoulder stacks directly over your wrist. With your free arm, begin to reach down for the floor and then circle overhead and behind you. Draw three circles in one direction and then three circles in the other direction. Follow your fingertips with your gaze and allow your chest to rotate for maximum range of motion. When the arm is stacked directly over your ear, pause. Create a side bend by bending the bottom elbow and reaching further towards the floor. Open your chest and look up to the ceiling, intensifying the stretch. Hold for three to five breaths. Place your free hand on your hip and lift your extended leg. Flex the foot and keep the toes pointed forward. Begin to lift and lower the leg, squeezing the outer hip muscles. Perform about six to eight lifts and then bring the knees together. Repeat on the opposite side. Come into a side kneeling position. By planting one hand in line with your knees and extending the opposite leg, planting that foot also in line with your hand and knee. Make sure your hips stack directly over your supporting knee and be sure that your shoulder stacks directly over your wrist. With your free arm, begin to reach down for the floor and then circle overhead and behind you. Draw three circles in one direction and then three circles in the other direction. Follow your fingertips with your gaze and allow your chest to rotate for maximum range of motion. When the arm is stacked directly over your ear, pause. Create a side bend by bending the bottom elbow and reaching further towards the floor. Open your chest and look up to the ceiling, intensifying the stretch. Hold for three to five breaths. Place your free hand on your hip and lift your extended leg. Flex the foot and keep the toes pointed forward. Begin to lift and lower the leg, squeezing the outer hip muscles. Perform about six to eight lifts and then bring the knees together. From your kneeling position, shift your weight to one side and swing your legs around in front of you. Plant your feet flat on the floor in line with your hips and bring your palms to the floor behind you, fingertips pointed towards your hips. Lift one leg and bring that ankle to the opposite thigh. Flex the foot a lot and externally rotate the thigh so you make a figure four shape with your legs. Allow the shape to rock side to side and continue to press your heart forward towards your thighs. Repeat this rocking about three to five times. Maintain the shape and allow the legs to come across your body until the foot plants flat on the floor. With your opposite arm, hug the knee and begin to rotate your spine. The opposite hand plants on the floor behind you as you look over your shoulder. Inhale to increase the length in the spine and exhale 
to twist even further. Hold for three to five breaths and then release. Place your hands behind you and release the top leg, extending it to your forward diagonal. Flex through the foot and bring the opposite foot to the inner thigh. Square your chest towards your thigh with one hand on each side. Sit tall and lengthen the spine towards the ceiling. Begin to wave over the leg, heart first. When you reach a forward fold, scoop your belly and round up through the spine, stacking back to vertical. Continue this waving action about three times and then fold over the leg and stay. Hold this fold for three to five breaths, maintaining the engagement in the quadricep. Then cross the wrists outlining the ankle and come to a flat back. Begin to sweep one arm back, up, and over, following your hand with your eyes. Press the opposite hand into your ankle or leg in order to increase the rotation in the chest. Alternate swimming forward one side and the other about six to eight times and then fold over the leg and stay. Roll up through the spine, plant your hands behind you, and bend your knees, getting ready for the other side. Plant your feet flat on the floor in line with your hips, and bring your palms to the floor behind you. Lift one leg, and bring that ankle to the opposite thigh. Flex the foot a lot, and externally rotate the thigh, so you make a figure four shape with your legs. Allow the shape to rock side to side and continue to press your heart forward towards your thighs. Repeat this rocking about three to five times. Maintain the shape and allow the legs to come across your body until the foot plants flat on the floor. With your opposite arm, hug the knee and begin to rotate your spine. The opposite hand plants on the floor behind you as you look over your shoulder. Inhale to increase the length in the spine, and exhale to twist even further. Hold for three to five breaths, and then release. Place your hands behind you and release the top leg, extending it to your forward diagonal. Flex through the foot and bring the opposite foot to the inner thigh. Square your chest towards your thigh with one hand on each side. Sit tall and lengthen the spine towards the ceiling. Begin to wave over the leg, heart first. When you reach a forward fold, scoop your belly and round up through the spine, stacking back to vertical. Continue this waving action about three times and then fold over the leg and stay. Hold this fold for three to five breaths, maintaining the engagement in the quadricep. Then cross the wrists outlining the ankle and come to a flat back. Begin to sweep one arm back, up, and over, following your hand with your eyes. Press the opposite hand into your ankle or leg in order to increase the rotation in the chest. Alternate swimming forward one side and the other about six to eight times and then fold over the leg and stay. Extend your legs along the floor in line with your hips and bring your arms to rest above your head on the floor behind you. Keeping your hip flexors soft, engage your low abdominals and drag your heels towards your sit bones. Flop the knees open towards a butterfly position and then extend them straight along the floor. Continue these passive circles three times in one direction, and then reverse. Drag your heels towards your sit bones and plant your feet flat on the floor, hip width distance. Bring your hands to the floor by your hips, palms down. Extend one leg to the ceiling and flex your foot strongly. Engage your quadricep to maintain a straight leg. Pressing into the supporting foot, squeeze your glutes and lift your hips high to the ceiling as if stamping your foot on the ceiling. Lift and lower the hips about six to eight times. Use your exhale as you squeeze and lower with control.
Keep your leg extended towards the ceiling with your foot flexed. Then extend your other leg along the floor and flex it also. Crunch your nose to your knee and interlace your hands at your calf or your hamstring. Keep your belly button gluing down towards the floor and begin to alternate your legs, pulling one closer and then the other. Allow the legs to scissor so that the inner thighs brush against each other. Continue alternating about six to eight times. When the original leg is back up towards the ceiling, lay your shoulders and head back down to the floor and bend your opposite knee, planting the foot flat. Keep your hands interlaced at your calf or your hamstring. Begin to bend the knee close to your chest and then squeeze the quadricep extending through the leg. Keep the foot flexed and repeat this action, bending and extending about three to five times. Try to increase the stretch with every extension. Bend your working knee completely and point your foot. Extend the other leg long along the floor. With the opposite hand, bring the bent knee across your chest to the floor and open the opposite arm for a twist. Keep reaching the knee and shoulder towards the floor. And then begin to draw big circles with the free arm, tracing down towards your toes, in front of your body, and overhead. Circle the arm three times, increasing the twist with each rotation. Then return to center and prepare for the opposite side. Plant your feet flat on the floor, hip width distance. Bring your hands to the floor by your hips, palms down. Extend one leg to the ceiling and flex your foot strongly. Engage your quadricep to maintain a straight leg. Pressing into the supporting foot, squeeze your glutes and lift your hips high to the ceiling, as if stamping your foot on the ceiling. Lift and lower the hips about six to eight times. Use your exhale as you squeeze and lower with control. Keep your leg extended towards the ceiling with your foot flexed. Then extend your other leg along the floor and flex it also. Crunch your nose to your knee and interlace your hands at your calf or your hamstring. Keep your belly button gluing down towards the floor and begin to alternate your legs, pulling one closer and then the other. Allow the legs to scissor so that the inner thighs brush against each other. Continue alternating about six to eight times. When the original leg is back up towards the ceiling, lay your shoulders and head back down to the floor and bend your opposite knee, planting the foot flat. Keep your hands interlaced at your calf or your hamstring. Begin to bend the knee close to your chest and then squeeze the quadricep, extending through the leg. Keep the foot flexed and repeat this action bending and extending about three to five times. Try to increase the stretch with every extension. Bend your working knee completely and point your foot. Extend the other leg long along the floor. With the opposite hand, bring the bent knee across your chest to the floor and open the opposite arm for a twist. Keep reaching the knee and shoulder towards the floor And then begin to draw big circles with the free arm, tracing down towards your toes, in front of your body, and overhead. Circle the arm three times, increasing the twist with each rotation. From your twist, bend both knees into your chest. Hug on to your shins and rock yourself up to sit. Extend the legs in front of you, flex the feet, and open them wider than your hips, finding a narrow V position. Your hands can be behind you on your fingertips in order to find a neutral spine. With the quads engaged and the feet flexed, begin to internally and externally rotate. Turn the big toes towards the ground simultaneously and then open so that the pinky toe reaches for the floor. 
Continue to turn the legs in and out about eight times. When the thighs reach parallel, bring your hands to the floor in front of you. Beginning with the tip of the pelvis, begin to arch your way forward towards a forward fold. When you find your maximum range of motion with the flat spine, allow yourself to relax, rounding the spine and releasing the weight of the head. Hold here, and as you do so, begin to point and flex through the feet. Continue alternating between a point and a flex about eight times. With the feet flexed, lengthen through the top of the head, arch your way back up to vertical. When you reach the top, plant your hands behind you and bring your legs together, finding a pike position with the inner thighs, knees, and ankles glued together. With an inhale, grow tall through the spine. And as you exhale, find a twist. Plant one hand behind you and sweep the opposite hand to the outside of your thigh. Push the thigh away and look over your shoulder, increasing the twist. Hold here for three to five breaths, lengthening with every inhale and increasing the rotation of the twist with every exhale. Then, maintaining the twist, perform a forward fold, sliding the hand from your thigh all the way towards your ankle, looking over your shoulder, and potentially grabbing the pinky side of your foot. Hold here for three to five breaths, continuing to lengthen, twist, and fold. Then, roll yourself back up toward your twist and return your torso to neutral. Repeat on the other side. Find a twist. Plant one hand behind you and sweep the opposite hand to the outside of your thigh. Push the thigh away and look over your shoulder. Hold here for three to five breaths. Then, maintaining the twist, perform a forward fold, sliding the hand from your thigh all the way towards your ankle, looking over your shoulder and potentially grabbing the pinky side of your foot. Hold here for three to five breaths, continuing to lengthen, twist, and fold. Then, roll yourself back up with your hands behind you, bend your knees, cross your ankles, and shift your weight up and over your feet. Finding a seated kneel position, have your knees slightly separated so that the hip bones are right over the knees. With your spine upright, bring your hands to your hips. Begin performing large hip circles. Shift your hips to one side, and then bring the hips all the way to vertical, stacking over your knees. Then shift to the opposite side and lower down to sit on your heels where you began. Continue circling in the same direction three times, finishing upright with your hips stacked over your knees. Engage your glutes to keep your hips open. Then, bend one knee, pulling the heel towards your hips. Reach back and grab your ankle with the same side hand and increase this quadriceps stretch. Pull the heel towards your hips, but keep the glutes engaged to further open the front of the hip. Hold here for three to five breaths. Then, Release the ankle. Repeat the hip circles and the quad stretch on the opposite side. With your spine upright, bring your hands to your hips. Begin performing large hip circles. Shift your hips to one side and then bring the hips all the way to vertical, stacking over your knees. Then shift to the opposite side and lower down to sit on your heels where you began. Continue circling in the same direction three times, finishing upright with your hips stacked over your knees. Engage your glutes to keep your hips open. Then, bend one knee, pulling the heel towards your hips. 
reach back and grab your ankle with the same side hand and increase this quadricep stretch. Pull the heel toward your hips, but keep the glutes engaged to further open the front of the hip. Hold here for three to five breaths. Then release the ankle. Sit your hips back onto your heels. Walk your hands behind you with your fingertips facing you and your elbows pointed back. Engage your glutes and attempt to tuck the pelvis. Then gently press into your hands and lift your hips off of your heels as much as your thighs will allow. You should feel a gentle stretch across both thighs. Hold here for three to five breaths and then release your hips toward your heels. Shift your weight forward and plant your hands, finding a quadruped position. Be sure your shoulders are directly over your wrists and your knees are directly under your hips. Engage your abdominals to support a neutral spine. Extend one leg behind you and tuck the toes. Press the weight back so the heel reaches towards the floor, getting a gentle stretch in your calf. To intensify this, begin to lift your hips, piking towards a downward dog shape and further reaching the heel towards the floor. Hold for a breath, and then return back to your quadruped position. Repeat on the other side, tucking the toes and then lifting the hips, reaching towards a downward dog. Continue to alternate this stretch from side to side about eight times. Then step both feet back and find your downward dog shape. Extend through both heels and engage through the thighs, pressing your chest towards your thighs. Hold here for three to five breaths. And then step one foot forward, finding a small lunge. Bend both knees and roll yourself up to vertical. At the top, straighten both legs completely, engaging through the quadriceps, finding a parallel, wide fourth position. Place your hands on your hips. With the legs straight and the feet planted, begin to open and close the back hip. Feel the hips splay completely and then square off, bringing the back hip forward and the front hip back. Be sure not to move the feet as you do so, but isolate the action in the hips. Repeat this open and closing of the hips about eight times, finishing with the hip square. Bring the heels of your hands together at your sacrum or the bony plate at the base of your spine. Feel a slight tuck of the pelvis if possible and engage your abdominals. Then begin to hinge your weight back. Keep the legs straight and the abdominals engaged as you pulse your hips forward. Focus the pulse in the hip instead of the low back. Perform eight pulses and then bring your torso back to upright. Bend the back knee and flex the front foot. Interlace your hands and bring them to your thigh just above your knee. Press your hands down to encourage the leg to straighten, and then find a flat back. Hold this hamstring stretch, engaging the front thigh and sending your belly toward your thigh for about three to five breaths. Then shift your weight forward onto the front leg and reach your hands for the floor or for blocks. Send the back leg up to the ceiling, finding a standing split. Be sure the bottom leg remains straight and the quad engaged. Bend the extended leg and then begin to create circles with the knee. Draw the knee towards your chest, roll it high by your shoulder, and then reach the knee high behind you, perhaps towards the ceiling. Turn the leg to parallel and repeat. 
circle three times in one direction and three times in the opposite direction, trying to increase your range of motion with each repetition. When the knees come together, hold there. Flex the foot and then bend both knees. Tuck your chin to your chest and pull the knee even closer. Then extend through both legs, sending the free leg towards the ceiling for a standing split. Extend through the spine and look forward towards your fingertips. Continue to bend and extend through both legs about four times, increasing the height of your standing split each time. As the knee comes towards your chest for the final time, step the foot down towards the floor. Extend through the legs and roll up through the spine, finding a standing position. Grab your strap and loop it around your working leg, bending the knee towards your chest. Use your arms to pull the leg even closer. Flex through the foot and extend the leg forward in front of your hip, or maybe even a little bit higher. Continue to bend the knee close to your chest and then fully extend to a forward extension about four times, trying to increase the height of the leg with each repetition. At the height of your last extension, remove the strap. Bend the knee and externally rotate the thigh. Stack it on top of your opposite thigh and find a figure four stretch bending the bottom knee, and using your hands to brace yourself, pressing the thigh open and increasing the stretch. Send your belly towards your thigh. Hold here for three to five breaths. This will also challenge your balance. Send the top leg behind you, finding a lunge position. Bring the knee to the floor and point your toes. Bring your hand to your front thigh and place the opposite thumb in the crease between your glutes and your hamstring. Encourage the back hip to roll down and forward, maintaining square. Keeping your spine stacked and your hips as low as possible, begin to lift and lower through the front heel. Find a high releve on the ball of your foot and then lower deeper into your lunge as the heel lowers. Continue to lift and lower the front heel about four to six times. As the heel lowers, take your back arm up and over your head, finding a slight side bend. Continue to sink the hips as you reach away in opposition. Take your front arm and grab the wrist, pulling out and up to increase the stretch. Hold here for two to three breaths. Allow your head to rest in your arms. Then return to neutral. Grab your strap, bend the back knee and loop the strap around your ankle. Rotate the shoulders back to square, facing forward. Have your elbow so that it points forward or up towards the ceiling. Pull the ankle towards your hips for your quad stretch. Continue to engage the glutes and send your hips down, increasing the opening at the front of the hip. Hold here for three to five breaths. Then release the strap and the leg. Plant your hands on the floor or on blocks in front of you and shift up and back into a hamstring stretch. Flex the front foot and squeeze the thigh to maintain a straight leg. Start with a long spine. Begin to wave your torso over your front thigh. Tip the pelvis forward and then ripple through your spine, rounding over your front thigh. Then imagine tucking through the pelvis and rolling back to a neutral spine. Continue to wave through this hamstring stretch about four times. As you lift your torso off your front thigh, 
Press into your hands and slide forward into your split. Come as low as possible, keeping your thighs engaged and your hips square. Use the blocks for support as needed. When you reach your lowest square split, hold there. Begin to point and flex through the front foot. See how it shifts the stretch in the front hamstring. Continue to flex and point eight times. When the foot is flexed, hold there. Engage through the thighs and test your balance. Lift one arm towards the ceiling and hold. Then place the arm down and switch sides. Maintain the integrity of your split as you do so. Bring the hands to your blocks and point through the front foot. Wherever you are in the height of your split, begin to soften through the elbows. Take eight elbow bends, allowing yourself to lower deeper into your split and releasing any excess tension you may have in your shoulders or arms. Try to increase your range of motion with each bend. After finding your deepest split, release. Place your hands to the inside of your front leg. Sweep your front leg to meet your back, and then roll over to seated, facing the opposite direction. Bend your knees into a butterfly position with the soles of your feet together and your knees wide. Hold on to your ankles for support. Begin performing rib circles. Isolating the action of the rib cage, begin to circle forward, side, and back pushing and pulling on your ankles as needed. Circle three times in one direction and three times in the opposite direction. Then find neutral. Press your hips forward to find a neutral spine and then begin to bounce through the thighs, trying to open the hips even further. Allow this to be a gentle bounce about eight to 10 times. Then cross the ankles, shift forward, Plant your hands and find a downward facing dog. Prepare for the opposite side. Step one foot forward, finding a small lunge. Bend both knees and roll yourself up to vertical. At the top, straighten both legs completely, engaging through the quadriceps, finding a parallel, wide fourth position. Place your hands on your hips. With the legs straight and the feet planted, begin to open and close the back hip. Feel the hips splay completely and then square off, bringing the back hip forward and the front hip back. Be sure not to move the feet as you do so, but isolate the action in the hips. Repeat this open and closing of the hips about eight times, finishing with the hips square. Bring the heels of your hands together at your sacrum or the bony plate at the base of your spine. Feel a slight tuck of the pelvis if possible and engage your abdominals. Then begin to hinge your weight back. Keep the legs straight and the abdominals engaged as you pulse your hips forward. Focus the pulse in the hip instead of the low back. Perform eight pulses and then bring your torso back to upright. Bend the back knee and flex the front foot. Interlace your hands and bring them to your thigh just above your knee. Press your hands down to encourage the leg to straighten, and then find a flat back. Hold this hamstring stretch, engaging the front thigh and sending your belly toward your thigh for about three to five breaths. Then shift your weight forward onto the front leg and reach your hands for the floor or for blocks. 
Send the back leg up to the ceiling, finding a standing split. Be sure the bottom leg remains straight and the quad engaged. Bend the extended leg and then begin to create circles with the knee. Draw the knee towards your chest, roll it high by your shoulder, and then reach the knee high behind you, perhaps towards the ceiling. Turn the leg to parallel and repeat. Circle three times in one direction and three times in the opposite direction, trying to increase your range of motion with each repetition. When the knees come together, hold there. Flex the foot and then bend both knees. Tuck your chin to your chest and pull the knee even closer. Then extend through both legs, sending the free leg towards the ceiling for a standing split. Extend through the spine and look forward towards your fingertips. Continue to bend and extend through both legs about four times, increasing the height of your standing split each time. As the knee comes towards your chest for the final time, step the foot down towards the floor. Extend through the legs and roll up through the spine, finding a standing position. Grab your strap and loop it around your working leg, bending the knee towards your chest. Use your arms to pull the leg even closer. Flex through the foot and extend the leg forward in front of your hip, or maybe even a little bit higher. Continue to bend the knee close to your chest and then fully extend to a forward extension about four times, trying to increase the height of the leg with each repetition. At the height of your last extension, remove the strap. Bend the knee and externally rotate the thigh. Stack it on top of your opposite thigh and find a figure four stretch, bending the bottom knee and using your hands to brace yourself, pressing the thigh open and increasing the stretch. Send your belly towards your thigh. Hold here for three to five breaths. This will also challenge your balance. Send the top leg behind you, finding a lunge position. Bring the knee to the floor and point your toes. Bring your hand to your front thigh and place the opposite thumb in the crease between your glutes and your hamstring. Encourage the back hip to roll down and forward, maintaining square. Keeping your spine stacked and your hips as low as possible, begin to lift and lower through the front heel. Find a high releve on the ball of your foot and then lower deeper into your lunge as the heel lowers. Continue to lift and lower the front heel about four to six times. As the heel lowers, take your back arm up and over your head, finding a slight side bend. Continue to sink the hips as you reach away in opposition. Take your front arm and grab the wrist, pulling out and up to increase the stretch. Hold here for two to three breaths. Allow your head to rest in your arms. Then return to neutral. Grab your strap, bend the back knee and loop the strap around your ankle. Rotate the shoulders back to square, facing forward. Have your elbow so that it points forward or up towards the ceiling. Pull the ankle toward your hips for your quad stretch. Continue to engage the glutes and send your hips down increasing the opening at the front of the hip. Hold here for three to five breaths. Then release the strap and the leg. Plant your hands on the floor or on blocks in front of you and shift up and back into a hamstring stretch. 
Flex the front foot and squeeze the thigh to maintain a straight leg. Start with a long spine. Begin to wave your torso over your front thigh. Tip the pelvis forward and then ripple through your spine, rounding over your front thigh. Then, imagine tucking through the pelvis and rolling back to a neutral spine. Continue to wave through this hamstring stretch about four times. As you lift your torso off your front thigh, press into your hands and slide forward into your split. Come as low as possible, keeping your thighs engaged and your hips square. Use the blocks for support as needed. When you reach your lowest, squarest split, hold there. Begin to point and flex through the front foot. See how it shifts the stretch in the front hamstring. Continue to flex and point eight times. When the foot is flexed, hold there. Engage through the thighs and test your balance. Lift one arm towards the ceiling and hold. Then place the arm down and switch sides. Maintain the integrity of your split as you do so. Bring the hands to your blocks and point through the front foot. Wherever you are in the height of your split, begin to soften through the elbows. Take eight elbow bends, allowing yourself to lower deeper into your split and releasing any excess tension you may have in your shoulders or arms. Try to increase your range of motion with each bend. After finding your deepest split, release. Place your hands to the inside of your front leg, sweep your front leg to meet your back, and then roll over to seated facing the opposite direction. Bend your knees into a butterfly position with the soles of your feet together and your knees wide. Hold on to your ankles for support. Begin performing rib circles. Isolating the action of the rib cage, begin to circle forward, side, and back, pushing and pulling on your ankles as needed. Circle three times in one direction and three times in the opposite direction. Then find neutral. Press your hips forward to find a neutral spine and then begin to bounce through the thighs, trying to open the hips even further. Allow this to be a gentle bounce about eight to ten times. Then cross the ankles, shift forward and find yourself in a kneeling position. Shift to one side, swing your legs around in front of you, and lay down. Bend your knees and plant your feet slightly wider than your mat. Allow the knees to swish from side to side, and allow the hips to rock off the floor as you do so. Alternate sides about six to eight times, allowing the low back and hips to release. Bend your knees into your chest and place your hands just below your kneecaps. Keep your thighs together and pull your knees tightly toward your chest, compressing your hip flexors. Crunch your nose up to your knee, increasing the roundedness of the spine. Hold for a breath or two, and then release. Bring your head and shoulders back to the floor, but maintain the knees close to your chest. Take the knees to one side, opening the opposite arm along the floor for a twist. Try to aim to have your knees stacked perfectly on top of each other. Hold one side for two to three breaths, and then transition to the other side for the opposite twist. Return to center and find a comfortable laying pose with your feet extended slightly wider than your mat and your arms resting by your hips. Flop the legs in and out, shaking the muscle off of the bones and allowing your entire body to relax.